So I've got chicken masli on the menu today. So we've got rice, chicken, potatoes, quite a famous dish in Bahrain. It's really, really delicious. It takes quite a long time to cook, but yeah, we've got really succulent, beautiful chicken. The potatoes just work so wonderfully in there. Amazing spices. Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. Let's get on with this one. What a whopper. Amazing stuff. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a nice little marination. So I've got two cups of oil there. I'm using a sunflower oil. You could use corn or something like that. And then here, check out all our spices. These are like two teaspoons each. Salt, pepper, chili powder, black lemon or black lime powder, coriander powder, green cardamom powder, turmeric, and cumin, all equal parts. Like I said, if you want, you can, you can play around with them a little bit. One tablespoon there of chopped garlic. Very simply, we're gonna get that in a bowl and give that a mix. That's gonna be a lot of our marination. So here we go, the oil's in there. Let's drop in our garlic. Then we're gonna do the salt, pepper, chili, and black lime powder. Then the turmeric, green cardamom powder, coriander, and cumin. Very easily, give that a little mix. We can move on. Okay, so let's take a look at our chicken. Now I've got some chicken legs there and I've got a few thighs in there. I think traditionally you'd only just use legs, but I like the thigh in there as well. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add about three quarters of this in there. And some we're gonna hold back for our potatoes. And then we're just gonna work this into our chicken if you want you can leave this overnight in the refrigerator you know give it some a few hours to kind of do its thing we're going to go straight in today and that is that so set that aside we can move on to the next part of this okay so potatoes peeled and cut quite chunky new gloves now we've got like two large tomatoes there cut nice and small one decent sized onion, again, cut roughly the same. I'm using a red onion. Some fresh green chili, optional. And I'm not chopping mine, just going in like that. And then we're gonna get the balance of our spice here. The spice is in now. And then we're gonna go for another little mix. And we've got the second component done. So this is the potato mix, we've done the chicken. There's also the rice, which we can move on to next. Okay, so in here I've got my rice. I'm using a basmati rice. I've washed that about two or three times, you know, rinsed it through. The water's there, it's cold. We're gonna add some salt to that water. We're gonna add a little bit of cinnamon stick and some green cardamom pods. On goes the heat. So, okay, so the heat is on, the salt is in. Little bit of cinnamon in there, green cardamom pods. So I've got four cups of rice. That's eight cups of water. What we need to do is bring that to a boil, but what we wanna do is we only wanna cook this rice like 60%. So it needs to get going and then we just need a real bite. Take it, take a piece, bite it, and you're gonna need a real big crunch on it. I'll be back then. Okay, so large pot, the same one that we've done the rice in. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get in our potatoes. and just lay them on the bottom there, like that. Perfect, let me grab the chicken. And now we get the chicken, and you've got the skin there, so you want the skin side down. On the legs, and the same on the thighs if you're using thighs like me. And then any balance of the marination, get it all in now. And then we can move on. Okay, and then we're gonna get our rice. Like I say, we've pretty much only blanched this rice. It really does have a big bite to it. Because we're gonna cook it for quite a long time now. That's it, so over to the cooker. 
this is going to be absolutely wonderful. Okay, so we're on the cooker now. Medium heat with the lid on just for 10 minutes, then we'll be back. Okay, so that's just 10 minutes. Off goes the heat. And we'll take a little look at it. It's not really done much, really. It's just got it going from the bottom. But we're just going to do a, a, another little process, which I'll explain right now. Okay, so what I've got here now, is the gas ring is under there. I've got a plate here, a metal plate, because we need to separate the flame from the bottom of our actual pan. You know, we need to kind of, you know, so it will burn basically. Otherwise, if you just keep it on the fire, it's going to burn. Now, if you don't have one of these, just get yourself a big frying pan that you're pot can fit inside, you know what I mean? So you, you create a barrier. Very simple. I'm going to get the rice back on there. So all the hard work is done. We're going to put the flame on and we're going to put it on a simmer, nice and low. Now we're going to go for like one hour minimum. It's probably going to be like an hour and a half, 90 minutes. You don't need to do anything now, just leave it alone. But so important that you have that barrier between the flame and the bottom of the pan. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a real burnt mess. I'll see you in about an hour and a half. I'm going to have a cup of tea. Okay, off goes the heat. That's been going for 90 minutes. Let's take a look inside, shall we? Really, really low and slow. Hour and a half. That is beautiful. Let's get this served up. Okay, super ste steamy. You saw me just tip that over. I'm just going to arrange it a little bit so it looks a bit nicer. So all I've done there is I just arranged the chicken a little bit more so it looks nice on the top there. I've got some chopped parsley here. We're going to be frying that over there. And that is an absolute beauty. That chicken is super, super tender. Potatoes are cooked to perfection. It's nice and spicy. The rice is lovely. There you go. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you soon. Lots of love.